Hi, this is Larry Jordan, the Backyard Birdman. I'm here today to uh, show you a little bit about how to uh, create your own bluebird trail. Uh, this way we can um, increase the bluebird population in your local area and um, you know it'll be better for everybody, including bluebird. Right here I have with me uh, one of the houses that I just built uh, yesterday, one of the four I just built, and because I, I wanted to show you a few of the features that you need to have on any nest box, uh, bluebird box that you're going to that you're going to make. Number one, you want an overhanging roof like this here. Uh, this also has a rain uh, drip edge cut into it. It's just a cut into the roof so that when it rains heavily, the rain can't come back inside the uh, hole. Also, the entrance hole, as you can see, has a wide piece uh, put on the front, which uh, helps protect the uh, bluebird uh, nestlings inside from raccoons and cats and other creatures trying to reach in. It also protects the opening from other larger birds uh, uh, pecking the uh, hole open so that uh, you know they can get into the, the bluebird house. The other important thing is, and this is essential, is it's got to have an opening hinged side so that as you check the uh, bluebird houses on your trail every week, once a week during the spring season when they're uh, nesting from uh, March, say, until the end of summer. You, every week you want to go around and check the nest boxes and this uh, hinge side opening up is how you do that. It also helps you, uh, allows you to clean them out at the end of the season. So what I want to show you today is how I mount my bluebird houses and they got to be mounted about 100 yards apart, which is the distance of a football field. And um, this particular one I put a uh, mounting uh, bracket on the bottom of it and uh, here we go, let's get started. This is the quickest and easiest way to mount one of these uh, great bluebird nesting boxes. I've already dug the hole uh, with a post hole digger about a foot and a half deep and uh, this is what I use for my nesting box uh, pole. It's a one inch EMT uh, which is an electrical conduit. It's very sturdy. You can get it at any hardware store for about eight bucks for a ten foot length. You want to cut it to uh, about six and a half feet long and then I use uh, a, a piece of PVC pipe uh, 200 uh, pressure a PVC pipe as a sleeve that's scheduled 200 PVC inch one inch it, it fits like a sleeve over the one inch EMT pipe and that allows you uh, when you bury this to act as a sleeve so you can take the, the pole in and out or if you want to relocate it you can just pull the whole thing out of the ground and relocate it somewhere else. So basically I've dug the hole and uh, I've got the excess dirt here. I want to make sure this is level and you can pretty much eyeball when it's level and then um, go ahead and just backfill this dirt into the hole and stomp it down. Like I said, this only takes a few minutes once you've got the hole dug, which is depending on your soil. <laughs> Sometimes easier in some places than others. But this is how you want your your pole to uh, to look. And this will be sturdy once I tamp this in the ground, which I'm not going to waste your time doing that right now. But you want your bluebird house, or your nest box as we call them, mounted about, about this high. And I'm just going to secure this a little bit while we're doing the video here. You want it about eye height, between four to six feet high. And it makes it really easy for you to check. And this is the height that the bluebirds like the houses. And you may have noticed that it looks pretty uh, forested behind me here. Well, one of the important things you need to know about bluebirds and building a bluebird trail is that they like open areas. So I live in Northern California where it's really hot in the summertime. And that's why I put this... Uh, uh, bluebird nest box on the east side of these trees here so that in the afternoon when it's scorching hot 100 degrees here this box is in the shade but in a second I'm going to pan out and show you that uh, right across from this this is a wide open grass area because bluebirds like to nest where there are mowed or uh, grazed or low cut grasses where they can see the insects that they mainly eat so it's very important. Uh, the nest box wants to be facing away from the prevailing wind. I face mine to the east and uh, it has to be close to an open area where they can uh, feed on insects and it also has to be uh, at least 100 feet from a tree 
so that when the nestlings uh, fledge out of the box, they only have to fly their first flight maybe 100 feet or so. So that's the quick and easy way to set a bluebird uh, box. And uh, what I'm going to do now is pan and show you that this actually is next to an open field. You can These bluebirds will nest in a, an open field like a, a golf course, a football field, uh, a large meadow, anything like that. And um, you will find that if you put up a few of these boxes, you'll have several bluebirds in your area. And it'll be great. So let me pan and show you what I'm talking about. Here we go. So I'm, this is a little bit of a back forested area. And if you look right over here, we have this huge open area. And that's what bluebirds love. They can get all the insects and stuff that they want to eat there. So um, in a few seconds, I'm going to take you over to another nest box that I put up so to show you an alternate way to attach them to the pole. Cool. <laughs> okay, here's uh, um, the other uh, method of, for mounting the boxes. By the way, um, if you want some more information on bluebird trails and uh, and create and making your own bluebird boxes, go to my website www.buildyourownbirdhouseplans.com, and my blog is buildyourownbirdhouseplans.com forward slash blog. And you'll get a lot of information on birding and nest boxes and uh, bluebirds. Anyway, here's a like a 20-year-old box that I made. And here's the other alternate method of mounting these. If you want to just mount them on the back, these are uh, the one-inch EMT uh, brackets that you can get at the same place that you got the one-inch EMT. And uh, they're really cheap and it's a real good way to mount the boxes if you don't want to buy the uh, the mounting um, hardware that goes on the bottom of the box so that's the alternate way it works really good and like I said you know with the sleeve method you can turn the box actually any direction you want um, so enjoy build, a, build yourself a bluebird trail and I uh, hope to see you on my website or the blog okay have a great day